Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And please do go to my Facebook fan page if you haven't been there already. And please give me a like there. Today I'm going to talk about a cushion cover I made. So this is a cushion and I made the cover. So you will use... Uh, the size of your cushion in home to make the cover making the cover actually very easy only work was the decoration on it so as you see for the decoration here I have used the pearl beads these pearls are 4 mm you can find it at your local craft store and I just glued them with glitter dimensional fabric paint this is gold color i glued all this with metallic color which is just gold but it looks more like metal and then i have created this motif using this kind of felt and i have used i have made this one out of a cardboard stencil made this stencil out of a cardboard and then I used it to draw with the chalk and after I draw with the chalk then I cut it and then I decorated it so this is the final outcome for this motif I will teach you this so my first video will be concentrated to teaching you how to create this motif now these design or motif you can use in anything you can stitch them in your lehenga choli salwar kurta even dupatta see these have felt on the back and front is decorated um, and i have here in the center i have used this tiny little beads seed beads now this is my creation since i've been using all these um, beads and sequins for this one so I recycle my applesauce little containers for this so when I do it I have all my supplies with me so I have used these tiny little seed beads uh, which these are the tiniest you can find and that's on the center and then I use this sequence these sequins are 8 mm and these white pearl beads are 4 mm and these beads here i have something more beside beads these beads are 6 mm this is a little bit big gold color beads there are 6 mm so i have used here three kinds of beads and sequence and i use the chalk to outline that's for the motif now you could use a mirror and a frame in the center if you don't want to put the bead i have used mirror and a frame in the center here over here i have used a frame and a mirror as i explained to you earlier uh, so these are the beads they came in a um, this big package and it was about four dollars i got it on 50 percent of coupon about two dollars and these are the same thing four dollars i use i always use my coupon for the craft store you can print out the coupon from their website every week you get a coupon so every week you can buy one product or you can buy two three if you have coupons of their competitors these are the these are the frames as i told you these are the frames i've been putting my uh, mirrors in and on the frame i use two yarns which i showed you in other videos where i use two different yarns for the mirror now this frame called crochet rings so you can use this crochet ring as a mirror and then I use this tiny little seed beads so first I put the mirror uh, ring with the mirror and then I put the sequence outside 
which is 8 mm and I use this glitter dimensional fabric paint as a gluing material and also it's leaving this beautiful gold color and then I use one row of these 4 mm white pearl beads and then I drew a little bit here with the metallic color so that's the design and these are um, all the way very end I just use the my paint uh, to glue all these beautiful pearl beads now for the motif um, this is the stencil I created out of cardboard you can use your any kind of design from your imagination so I use this one because this is kind of very popular design in India so you see all the sari salwar kurta has this design so I created this one and I use it a lot so first for this one after making this uh, motif out of the felt I use in the center the seed bead and then I use the white pearl bead and each of the top this facing I used uh, this 6 mm gold bead and then outside I use 8 mm sequence and then each of them I outline with the glitter dimensional fabric paint the metallic color so uh, today's first video we will create this motif and then after that created then I stitched the motif into this fabric so first initially see how this stitch is here the stitch is done just like you place it like this and then you stitch it so such I stitch such a way that it created a design you see in the gold color it's going the black thread see the black thread going in the gold color so it created a design now I can go I can go one more time with this one that will even cover the black thread so you will never be able to see the black thread so I am decorating my green sari remember the sari I was making now I have made similar motif for the green sari but that sari will take maybe 40 of you how to stitch so I'm going to try to finish in in one video because two video will get really difficult for everybody so this one just put your frame I did it mine without the frame but then I'm going to show you with the frame because it will be a little easy with the frame now you can decorate uh, while this is in the frame and then let it dry for two hours and then proceed with your others so make sure you when you put the mirror make sure it's tight that's one thing this is tight it's very tight now then it's easy to work if it's tight and you put your frame and your mirror and then you come from the bottom and just this is why I put the yarn just to stitch alongside of the frame the only purpose of the putting the yarn is not for the look for the stitching purposes and it's a second gold yarn I put for the look so when you do this one you make sure your thread is strong because you need to pull and the this when you do a cushion cover and if you're going to do a lot of stitches and mirror and frame then make sure it's a cotton fabric because then it's really good because otherwise you know the fabric would fray this requires now someone mentioned to me that uh, holding this mirror was hard why didn't I use little bit glue and yeah that is true but I just don't want to use the hot glue but I might have to for one or two my videos I am planning to do something beautiful while hanging and I might have to use the hot glue but I always try to avoid using hot glue because 
as you see it has a lot of warnings about diseases like such as cancer and stuff so I don't want to use it so like this you will stitch this in the center it's just nothing just basic stitch and make sure you stitch it properly so go two times round and stitch it now let me stitch this one and then I will show you the motif so now that I have stitched the center we know which one is the center now you can arrange your motifs any way you want and I have arranged this way now when you're going to stitch this motif you need pin so you have to pin it down and then stitch it otherwise they will get moved so as you see the motifs been created from this one the felt and I use these stencils to cut the felt and then we'll decorate so I'll show you the decoration on the motif and let me first show you the stitching of this so once you find out that where you're going to put it then you pin it since it's already made you pin it such a way that you don't get the beads it just stays in one place so it doesn't move so I put two pin here and I will be doing the same So you find where you're going to pin it and pin two places so it doesn't move and make sure when you pin it you be sure that you straighten out the fabric do not get bunched up the fabric so there's one place and then I'm going to pin it over here somewhere so I make sure my fabric is straight and then I pin it here so I pin it two places I'm going to show you one of these now after we pin it we're going to stitch the motif and then we're going to turn this fabric around like this and make sure it's the exact length these two matches and all we need to do is stitch these two sides in the machine and then we put our cushion inside it well actually then after we stitch it we flip it to the right side the pretty side and once we flip it to the pretty side then we're going to put our cushion and just we're going to take these two top and stitch it just plain stitch very little little stitch you put and then you're done with your cushion cover so I'll show you how to stitch this one and the motif now after you pin it you should start from you can start from any place but I uh, found it's easy to start from this side this top 
top is the one bended decorated so you go inside with your needle and thread make sure you have a knot at the end and you come out like this now you can have a frame with it or I did it without the frame and then okay so this this is the edge where I have the greater dimensional fabric paint you go down from the edge and then you come up anywhere you poke try not to poke in your sequence just poke in a, the paint a little bit inside then come out again so it's basically making this kind of ring and that's holding up so some places you might have a little bit trouble because you find a bead or a sequence so just leave that place and go a little bit ahead as long as you're giving enough tie so it don't come out and we cannot glue this huge material because it will come out if you glue I know a lot of the videos shows that you can practically glue everything but I really don't believe that you can glue everything and you can put it in the washing and drying or just it will last long. I think this sewing is so easy. I mean, why would you glue everything? So, here you see, this one is not moving because I use this pen. Now, if you feel comfortable, you can use a little bit more pen that helps you. You can use a couple of more, like one more here so it will keep in place then once you're done don't forget to take out your pen so you continue like this so as you see the stitch is very simple you go from inside and you come out wherever you find little bit space or if you don't have a space paint you come out through that and then you go again down so all you're doing is creating this pattern it's more like a buttonhole like this and then you could choose to do another way which I was doing on the others when I got tired of doing that I did it another way so I went like this and then I went inside and came out like this see that also creates the same only this one is straight this one is little bit bended so either way and you can choose to as I told you cover up the whole thing after you're done with greater dimensional fabric paint now at this point you can practically do more design with it if you want while you're showing you can add a bead so you can do so much with it like this you will continue with the entire side and finish it like this so there is nothing much to it so like this you will add your three or four whatever that's how it's coming three or four all the surrounding you can go one time you can go twice I went twice so it will never come out and then after this you can put this glitter dimensional fabric pin one time and dried but I didn't do it because I like this black uh, how the thread went on top of it I like the design so I kept it so that's how you're going to add all your three motifs and you decorate the center and after everything done I put inside the cushion and then I stitched these two top and after I did that then I laid down like this with the cushion inside and I went with this paint and I dot 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 gave all around and used the beads with my hand and stuck it like this, like this, like this and that's how I created that design so when I since I have already shown you the motif I'm going to do this one center and you will see how it's done so when you do the center you can put something inside so if it if it's leaks it will not go all the way on the other one it usually leaks 
because this is like a glue so it will glue so you have to just pull it out since we're going to create motif out of that i can use that now let me show you over here i got ready with my supplies now these beads i only need three of them oh for this one i don't need any actually any three for the motif so all we need to do is just go like this go close don't go too far from each other just very close to each other be generous about this because you want your decoration to stay like this now and this has helped me a lot keeping my beads in this one even though i end up going to the fabric now i'm putting the wrong side i don't want to put right side because wrong side is kind of very much shiny so i like putting the wrong side now here you see i don't have that much of the paint i have little of the paint so if you have too much you will get a nice trim so it's up to you if you want a nice trim you give a little bit more if you don't want you can give less so like this you will go through this quickly because you don't want the paint to dry now if it is little bit here and there a little bit messed up don't worry about it please just continue with your work and finish and it will look good at the end I mean little minor details nobody's really gonna watch it these are handmade you cannot expect them to be perfectly lined up this just the way it is the handmade things these are not machine made so you made your round now you're going to do the beads now we're going to do the beads now over here if you see little bit gap pull them together so you know they're next to each other that looks nice now we're just gonna lay beads down similar way like this you pull next to it close either you can stack the beads with your finger or you can use the tool I have created with the empty uh, paint container so it's up to you whichever way you prefer now download that now I don't like to put it in this uh, fabric as I mentioned sometimes you know you get it in the fabric and then when it dries it doesn't look good fabric looks dirty so that's why I like to keep it in a, this kind of container so make sure you just pick up one because you're going to just drop one so pick up one it has the tendency to pick up too many but some of them are joined together even but just pick up one So same thing with this just quickly go over them and if it's little bit out of the place do not worry about it just have fun doing it and it will turn out really beautiful and you can do this thing with your kid it's really mm, for them it's very good they focus so they stay calm and they after doing this more like meditation they start becoming much calmer person because when you're doing this you just focus on this and you can get lost in it and it's way better than boring meditation where you try to really focus on something and you can't you find your mind wandering all the time but when you do this mind doesn't really wander I mean you're so focused in it now at this point you can do a little variation is you see I have this 
little little glue coming out from the top you can add a bead see like this the the top the glue coming out you can add one one bead to it that's a little variation and that would really look nice so as you are adding this one I didn't add that one and the other one but we could do a little variation now these you see over here I have a very little glue so I'm adding a little bit more as I mentioned to you you want them to stay longer you need to add a little bit generous amount of glue now make sure to pick up bead you put some glue on the tip of this tool and it always has the tendency to hold and press your beads little bit just don't leave it on top because you want the bead to be stuck on that <laughs> this bead is so stubborn so I think I pretty much covered all of them and now as I was telling you a little variation little variation you just put tiny little little dot you really don't have to put this dot when you press your sequence this dot gets created because the sequence I put upside down and it has a hole and that's how you see when they stitch the sequence they put a bead on top of it so the same look you can create with this just add one bead and in case you drop two don't panic it's just a beautiful design whether it's a one or two just try to create the way you want your look when you make it that's your cushion cover so it should just represent the way you feel the way you want to do it you don't have to follow my design you just do from your own imagination and the way you feel your cushion should look like so we're done with two we're done with the sequence and I added extra bead and we did the pearl and we did the frame and the mirror and now I will show the, you the last step and the way I told you you stitch this motif and the last step here all I did is from again from my imagination you can put as long as you want you can pull as long as you want I just pull little little because this kind of design I have seen it really looks nice now you can do pretty much everything that they do with stitching beads and I have saris with beads and sequins and they also fall off you know they do not stay when you wash them but this way I have seen they tend to stay longer just when you wash it be gentle with them and wa hand wash them with mild soap just the way you would do with the nice clothes you know I see now how pretty this looks so we're done with this and you will stitch these three and then this is the way I attach this that's the way you will attach all over and that's it you let everything dry for two hours so remember you get your fabric and then you stitch the top and then you center the way I show you the your frame and the mirror and then you put these and put chalk marks and pin these three motifs or four motifs as many as you want to put and then you stitch them then you do the center decoration and if you feel like it after that that you want to put one more round of this glitter diamonds and a paint so nobody can see your stitches you might as well do that excuse me then you um, dry everything uh, for two three hours and you're done so this was the video for my cushion cover and now I will make another video where I will show you how to do the motif. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share the video. 
and i will come up with another video thank you bye bye have a great day and if you have any question and you want me to show it to you again anything that you have problem doing it please leave a message or in the comment box or email me i'll be more than happy to show you again and again thank you bye bye